So we all use a chair, right? To relax and sit down and enjoy ourselves. But have you ever considered how you can use a chair for some awesome workouts? And I'm not just talking about a chair, but a stool, a bench, a bed, a sofa, anything that you have. And you know what I like to do here on this channel is find ways to keep you excited and motivated and interested on your fitness journey and getting awesome results as well. So welcome to today's workout, which is an upper body and abs chair workout in 20 minutes with a warm up and a cool down from my mum's back garden with the dragonflies, the butterflies, the birdhouses, <laughs> out with nature. Are you ready? Let's get started in a warm up. To begin with, you don't need the chair for the warm up. We're gonna start with torso rotations. Take nice deep breaths, start twisting from the hips. We have a circuit of five exercises. 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. We're gonna go through those five exercises for three rounds. And overall, we've got a 20 minute workout. Let's take it to an upper body open and close. So open up the upper body, big stretch in the chest and then round it forwards. Stretch the upper back, move between these two positions spending a few minutes or a couple of minutes warming up the upper body. Let's take in some wrist rotations, just movement in the wrist. We're gonna be doing some push-ups and some planks on the chair, whatever bench or platform you have. Remember, you can use the floor at any point you want. This is just to find something different, new angles for you. Take it into big arm circles, big circles, stretching the shoulders and the chest, mobilizing the joints before we start pushing. Okay, let's take in some punches, forwards and backwards. Punches, forwards and backwards. You can stay stable in the legs and the core. Pick up the speed and the power. And final 20 seconds. Let's use the chair or the floor for a high plank. Just a plank position on your hands, stabilizing in the shoulders, the core and the legs. Final few seconds. Okay, rest there. So let's transition the timer into 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest for those five exercises. Exercise one, using your chair for a high plank rotation. From here, we're gonna open up into a side plank and keep moving between the two sides. Start in three, two, one, let's go. Come to this high plank here, core strong. Keep the hips up as you twist, rotate. Keep your shoulder above this hand. Hit, lift the hips up high, place the hand down and switch. In your own time, keep breathing and keep lifting. Ten seconds, keep going. Okay, well done, rest. The good news is you can sit down and rest on the chair at any point you want. Let's move it into the push-up. So, find a grip, a stance with whatever platform or chair you have. We're gonna take it into a push-up. This one's quite a narrow one for me. My fingers are over the edge. From here, you're gonna drop down to however far I can and push back away. Let's go, 40 seconds into your push-up. This is obviously gonna feel quite different to being on the floor. And this is what functional workouts is all about. Not that we need to push up off of a chair to be functional in our day-to-day -day life, but it's all about finding the, ver the variety, the variation in our movements to get strong in lots of different areas. Ten seconds, keep going.
and rest there, well done. We are actually going to take a seat now because we're taking it into tricep dips. Many of you that are doing my workouts, just body weight with no equipment, we're doing a lot of dips on the floor. Now we get the benefit of getting a bit more range of motion, fingers over the edge, walk away. We're gonna take it into a dip from here. We can take it lower, squeeze at the top. Let's go. To make it easier, you can decrease the range or walk the feet in. Let the legs take some weight to make it harder. Take the legs out nice and long. Be careful this whole workout that the chair doesn't slip away. Make sure you're in a stable position and you're pushing the chair away and slipping. Keep going for 10 seconds. Well done. Hopefully you should feel those triceps burning. Let's turn it around for the mountain climber. So again, bringing our hands onto the chair, ready for a mountain climber position. So getting that flat back, pull your hips away from the floor to pull in your stomach. One leg at a time, drive it in and up. Don't need to rush. For this first set, let's just pause at the top, squeeze those abs. Again here, keep your shoulders above your hands. We're still working strength in the upper body whilst driving that knee up halfway. Well done, let's do a bit more core by doing a seated knee up. So, depending on the chair that you have, I can't sit this way and lean backwards, so I'm sitting on the side, so do what you need to get this knee up position where we extend and pull in, okay? Hopefully you have the ability to do this. Extend the legs, lean back, drive it in. Drive those knees up, squeeze the abs. Of course, if you can't lean back and you were on a chair that you can only do something like this, then it's still absolutely fine to just be leaning a little bit backwards or staying up tall and driving those knees up. Keep going for 10 seconds to finish exercise five out of five. Well done, rest there. Still just for 20 seconds before we take it into Exercise one, the high plank rotation. Let's start making some adjustments or changes. You know which exercises we have coming up. Let's get a bit of a, a hip lift on the rotation, okay? So get ready with me in three, two, one. From here, open it up to side plank. From here, drop the hips a few inches, squeeze it up, bring the hands down. Switch, drop the hips down and squeeze up. Keep switching in your own time, getting that hip lift. Just a small movement, keep the shoulder safe. Ten seconds, keep going. Well done, rest there. Remember to have a drink, stay hydrated whenever you need to. We're moving it into the push-up. So I urge you to make some adjustments, whether your hands go from here to here to here, changing up in the angles, which, which, which whatever chair you have is gonna be really useful. Let's go. I'm gonna bring my palms facing down here now. My, my elbow is a bit narrower. This is type of rep I'm going for.
10 seconds. Keep that mind to muscle connection, meaning think about the muscles you're targeting. Manually squeeze and contract them. Well done, rest there. Let's turn it around for those tricep dips. Fingers off the edge, shoulders back. And let's go into dips. Don't rush through the reps, control down. Lock out at the top, squeeze the triceps. Hand rest there, well done. Get ready for your mountain climber. Again, can we make any adjustments here? So straight up to the middle here with the knees was absolutely fine. That's a good worker. You can repeat that again or try a slight angle. See if you can drive that knee up to the opposite arm. Let's go. And because we're not too focused on a cardio workout in here, we don't need to keep the, the pace up in this mountain climber. Let's just focus on the abs engagement and the shoulder work. Well done, exercise five out of five in the seated knee tuck. Let's go this way this time. Okay, get ready for the abs. Lean back, extend, drive it in. Extend, lengthen the abs, squeeze the knees in as the chest comes up. Keep going, 10 seconds. I know it gets tough. We're getting stronger core, stronger hips. Stay safe, long spine, chest up. Well done. Rest there for 20 seconds. Let's start again from the top. Into that high plank rotation. Hands on the chair, let's go. So now we have the option of holding here or we can add the drop. If you're ready, add the star. And twist. Arm up, hip drop or star. Or all three. Rotation, hip drop, star hold. Five seconds, one more. Balance it off if you need to do the other side. Otherwise, rest. Good, well done. Oh, getting sweaty now. Are you ready for the push-ups? Like I said before, find maybe another change. Different angle in the elbows, different width in your arms, in your hands or on the grip. Let's go. If at any point 
you're struggling to get on with whichever chair you have, <laughs> then you can go to the floor at any point you want and get better reps there. Ten seconds, stretch the chest, squeeze it up. Well done. Turn it around and get ready for your tricep dips. Fingers over the edge, walk it forwards, hips off, bend the elbows, drive it up, squeeze at the top, let's go. Seven, six, keep pushing. Well done. Sit back and relax. Let's get ready for the mountain climbers. So now we've tried straight up and an angle. Choose between the two, which one you prefer, and squeeze and activate those abs. Let's go. Mountain climbers, nice and slow, but powerful. Ten seconds. Keep your knee nice and tight up to the chest. Well done. That's those mountain climbers complete. Let's get ready for exercise five out of five in the seated knee tuck. Let's go, lean back, extend, drive it in. That is halfway, keep going. Exercise five out of five, offset three out of three. Gonna have a quick, fun finisher at the end of this set. Keep going. And rest there. Okay, we're gonna go for a one minute finisher here. So, if you have a chair you can pick up, <laughs> then we're gonna take it into a shoulder press. If you can't pick it up, go back to your push up on the chair or on the floor for one minute long. How heavy is your chair? I don't know, but this is where the fun is, okay? Let's go, I'm going for a shoulder press. Dropping and driving up. If it doesn't work for you, then maybe a front raise. I don't know what chair you have, or even a bent over row. Use it for something. If you can't pick it up, because you're using a like a bed or a sofa, then that's okay. Go back to your push-up for a one minute finisher. Burn out those shoulders if you're doing this with me. Keep pushing. 20 seconds left. <sighs> ah. 
and rest there well done one minute finish and complete whatever exercise you are doing well done you can come to rest now grab a drink recover and let's take it into our cool down and recovery once you've had your drink and rested come to reach up nice and high reach your fingers up tall you can even interlock your fingers at the top reach up lengthen through the torso the stomach the chest Take nice deep breaths. You can either reach to one side a little bit and to the other side. And let's take it to a tricep stretch. Shake it off. Fingers down your back. One hand on the elbow, driving the fingers down. Take nice deep breaths and stretch off those triceps. Triceps have worked hard with push-ups and those tricep dips. So these workouts are all about just having fun, using your body, getting excited about your fitness journey and using what you have the ability to use, which is often a chair. Shake it off, switch side. You can do so much with just your own body weight. And as you know, this channel here has hundreds of workouts for you, ready and waiting to go. But also, you can get imaginative and creative uh, to get some different results and to switch things up so your mind is excited and motivated to keep going. Okay, shake it off. Final 30 seconds. Interlock the fingers behind your back into a chest stretch. Drop your shoulders down, squeeze your shoulder blades together, reach your hands down and open up the chest. Make sure you're working on this flexibility and recovery as a part of your routine. Don't click off the workout yet, do it. And make sure this is a part of your daily routine as well, your yoga, your stretching. I've got a stretching playlist there ready and waiting for you too. Whoa, shake it off, take a nice deep breath. That is your workout complete. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you comment below, give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe if this is the work first workout that you've done with me. And if you want more workouts from my app, I have lots of different training programs, bodyweight training programs, resistance band training programs, dumbbell training programs, or even gym. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.